Okay. Hello out there, everyone. Nick and Jackie again. Uh, if you noticed, we're not on the rock. <laughs> we're actually on the bench. We're uh, at Walnut Hill Park in New Britain. We weren't able to videotape earlier this morning, but uh, we know that there's a lot of people out there that enjoy our videos. We get a lot of comments. Um, we get a lot of people even just calling my phone saying, hey, I had somebody ask me yesterday, where's the where's the link to your Jackie and Nick on the Rock? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's, it, it is totally awesome. Um, we've also had people in church actually spreading the word that we're doing, you know, these positive affirmations on God and on Jesus and on, you know, the, the things that were talked about in our um, sermon for the day. Um, but uh, today's subject, I think we're going to talk about um, religion and how a religion is not what is preached in the Bible or the Bible that I read um, but what's going on is is that if you look at all the different teachings and the different religions we are all worshiping God and we fight over these small little aspects mm -hmm. that we really have no business fighting over yeah that we really should just be loving one another. Yeah. We really should just be trying to understand each other. Yeah. And if you believe that God gave you free will, then you should also believe that your understanding is gonna be different than mine. And there's no reason why we should fight over it. We should actually embrace each other yeah. and say, hey, I really like what you have to say. Do you wanna hear what I have to say? Yeah. We, yeah. We're supposed to attempt to understand one another and that's actually what the sermon was about today like being humble and resolving conflict and resolving conflict Ex exactly absolutely yeah um i know i was agnostic we were just talking about that before yes. we started videotaping that i was agnostic my whole life right and i studied so many different religions you know buddhism hinduism uh, confucianism and i loved eastern yeah. philosophy and i and i i was you know um and I, and I heard truth echoing in it. Yes. Echoing in a lot of the, like in the, in the, like in Buddhism, they say that you die unto yourself. Okay. So you, so you, di you die to the self, which what Christ says is basically like we die to our old selves and we are reborn in spirit. That's right. And so, you know, we're, we're all born from like different places around the world and we have different sort of upbringings and cultural influences on us. And, um, I hear truth resonated in other cultures and other religions, for, but for me, like me having been agnostic my whole life and like looking for that truth in um, various different religions and studying and being open and listening to other people share what they believed, yeah. then when, you know, God started to really reveal himself to me yeah. and reveal his son to me, basically yes. that Jesus for our sins it's sort of like for me it was like the ultimate truth I had been seeking right I heard it resonating lots in different like some people talk um, like my girlfriend she was talking and she's She was talking about, um, you know, putting down her ego, and I'm like, yeah, that's scripture. Yeah, that's scripture. Yeah, that's scripture. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of just like I hear scripture resonating in a different, you know, way from from other people, and that's beautiful, you right. know, because we we put God in a box. We put him in a box. We put him in a. Nobody puts God in a box. Oh, God, God is omniscient. Get God out of the box. I know. Right? You got to think outside of the box in order to let God out of the box. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right? I was stuck in a religion. I'm not going to bash any religions. It was something that I wasn't comfortable with. Yeah. Right? And it held me away from God for a lot of years. Yeah. It was a practice that my family practiced, that my family's family practiced, that my family's family's family. I mean, it just passed down from generation to generation. Yeah. And at some point, it just wasn't it wasn't uh, exciting to me and the way that these uh, rituals were, I, I would call them rituals because that's what religion is. It's rituals yeah. that people practice in order to uh, praise a God of their, their understanding. understanding. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I just didn't like those rituals. I love to get up there and just sing and be happy and praise. And I like a preacher that preaches right out of the Bible, not his own understanding. Mm. Yeah. Right in First John four one it says it says test every spirit yeah. 
to make sure that it is of God because false preachers mm. roam the earth. Yeah, and especially in the end times. Especially this is what I'm times, saying. It's like we're... If you're stuck in a religion, if you're stuck and you're just not having the joy, I have joy every time I go to church. Yeah, yeah. Church is a fellowship or a community of people. Koinonia is a fellowship of people, of others. We're just doing these videos because we want to be close to you guys. Mm -hmm. We want you to subscribe, hit the bell, put a comment down there so that we could talk about things that interest you. Mm -hmm. Because your interests are the same as my interests. Finding truth. Finding truth. Get a and different perspective. Yeah. You've got a male and a female perspective, <laughs> right? You've got you've got two people that love the Lord, mm -hmm. and we're trying to help others love the Lord. I, I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's wrong. Maybe I'm not trying to help. I'm just showing you that I really love God, and you could have this joy for God like I do. And God loves us. <laughs> it can't be. It can't be something that's not fun to do. Yeah. They say to fear God. Yes, the fear of God should bring you joy. I'm not going to do that because God isn't going to approve. Not that he's going to strike you dead. Not that he's going to do this or that. Not that he's going to take your house away. Just knowing that, hey, you know, some things aren't proper and let's not do them. That's right. the fear of God. Yeah. That's not anything that, you know, that God's got a lightning bolt and he's going to do. No, that's not what that's about. No, it's about, I think for me, it's like loving him so much that I want, I want to do right by him. Right. Because he loves me so much. Yes. He's shown me time and time again. And so it's just a matter of like, I, I understand Lord, your way is the best. Yes. Your way is the best way. And I might think my way is better, but it's always not better. No. It's and not. always because I don't have his understanding and none of us do. You know? Correct. So we, this is just some things that we wanted to talk to you about today. So we were asking you, first of all, to subscribe. And then I was just told that if you hit that little bell, right, it will ring every time we put up a new video and then you'll be able to come back to the channel oh. and know when we have new content. Oh, I know. So that's awesome. The next thing is, I would like to thank everyone that has commented. We've had comments from uh, my buddy JT, from Muhammad. We've had um, different people from different cultures commenting us and saying, hey, we love you what you're doing. Thank you for doing what you're doing, and we appreciate you. We love you. We're going to continue to do this, whether you like it or not. <laughs> right? No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> whether you watch or not, we have fun doing this. I love talking about the I Lord. I love hanging out with my girlfriend here. She's <laughs> She's awesome, man. She brings such a different perspective on life that I need the female perspective of. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'm struggling with like a, maybe a relationship or maybe, uh, you know, me wanting to be in a relationship or whatever. And I can just call up Jackie and be like, I'm struggling with this. And you have the answers. Well, I don't have the answers. God does. Right. Okay. <laughs> but okay. Um, but I definitely I know what you're saying about like the, the, the balancing of the ma masculine and the feminine perspective because men and women just definitely were built differently. And we do tend to balance each other and tend to like balance each other out when we're really listening to like the other perspective. Right. So yeah, I do really appreciate that. That, um, you know, masculine perspective when I need it. Right. Very much so. Absolutely. And love to give the feminine perspective when it's needed from a man. Right. You know? Perfect. So I think that's it for today. Um, so we're gonna do hit like and subscribe. Put a comment, please. If you would, if you just take a few seconds out to put a comment, let us know what you're thinking about what we said. If you think that we're right, if you think that we're wrong, put a like, put a dislike. Because you want to know what controversy is also part of what we're doing here. Yeah. Right. We do have controversial. Well, we uh, have to talk about things. Yes, that are, we have to talk about things that are mm -hmm. controversial sometimes. That's why we, we fight. We're just like, you're wrong. You're right. No, no, let's discuss. That's right. Yeah, let's just Absolutely. discuss. Have a discussion. And love each other while we're doing and it. And exactly. Listen to each other. Right. Yeah. All right. Godspeed. Godspeed. <laughs>